this morning a new parcel turned up courtesy of the postman and it hopefully will have a nice locomotive inside so let's get on and open this package wow a new Backman 94 triple X and this particular one is the Lake Crest and it's also a sound fitted locomotive this is the first time I have to say I've bought a sound fitted locomotive up until now I've always bought them and put my own chips in but I've never actually bought a Backman locomotive with a sound chip fitted in it already so let's have a look nice packaging box yet again and we've got a little bit of history on the back and I'll put a photograph of that at the end and you can read the details now this is a bit of a step out of the norm for me because I usually buy London Midland locomotives that's a particular area I model on my railway so why would I buy a GWR pannier tank? well these locomotives were used quite a lot as banking engines at the leaky incline and my railway has an equivalent of the leaky incline so I intend to use it as a banking engine alright let's slide it out of the packet and tip it out there we go it's quite a nice tight fit in there can already see we've got some extra little goodies. It's a very tight fit in the box. We've got our extra sound fitting instructions with all the various various functions, what's on each switch. And your locomotive owner's instructions books with a few little extra detail trims and pieces to put on all right let's slide off the plastic surround and what have we got here we have a set of rather nice etched brass numbers and a maker's plate and we've got a bag of bits and bobs i can see there's a screw link couplings, vacuum pipes, pipes to add to the drain cocks. There is a blanking plate to take out the sound chip and put it in and run it on DC which seems odd if you've spent all the money on sound fitted version why you would take the chip out. Right now let's take the locomotive out of the plastic. First thing I noticed picking it up is of a very nice copper detail on the chimney. That looks like a real piece of copper turning that's been put on there to add that extra detail and finesse. The locomotive looks absolutely smashing. There's a great deal of detail in there. Inside the cab I can see a brake lever, a red painted reversing lever. All of the uh, pipe work is painted and I can see the regulator's been painted as well in there. Overall, a smashing amount of detail on this. A very heavy locomotive considering its size. And got lots of lamp irons at the back, brass lamp irons at the front, and a detail on top of the tanks. You see lots of very, very crisp lines and tiny, tiny little rivets. That looks superb and look down inside the safety valve you can pick up all the detail down in there. It's a lovely locomotive. There's room in the back in the bunker just to put a layer of real coal on top of that if you want to add the extra detail. Yeah we've got full pickups on every wheel and we've got nice brake detail. I think that's pretty superb. I'm liking this locomotive. I'd expect to at the uh, quite considerable price it came in at. The unsound fitted version 
uh, from Rails was £127 and the sound fitted version was £195. Hey, you only live once and you treat yourself, don't you? Right, let's turn it over and we're going to put it on the test track and run it in a moment. So here we go, we're all set up on the rollers and let's give it a go. Let's slowly open the throttle. One step, two steps, oh, and we're starting to get movement. There you go, that's very nice, slow movement. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's accelerate a little bit. Three steps. Four. That is lovely. Right, it's slow to a halt. I have to say, the quality of these locomotives is superb. The uh, decal of the Lake Crest is absolutely pin sharp. That's beautifully done. And the numbers, I don't know why you'd possibly want to cover those up with an etching. You'd probably make more of a mess of putting the etching on, so I think mean, you just leave those in the bag for future reference. Smashing locomotive. Let's try the opposite direction, then we'll go through the sound functions. And then we'll leave it on for half an hour as running in. Right, we've gone straight up to level four and picked up beautifully. I don't know whether you can see just how nicely the uh, sandpipes in front of the front set of wheels are very very fine and I can just pick one up hidden behind the back step into the uh, cab there's another one there just smashing level of detail alright let's slow to a halt I can see from the uh, sound instructions that Backman haven't skimped on the sound chip. It's a very high quality ESU Lock Sound Micro V5, the latest generation of uh, sound chips from ESU, so it should be good. On the various functions, we have number one, which is sound on. Let's open the throttle a little bit. Function 2 is the brakes. That sounds alright. Function 3 is the drain cocks. And they only work between 0 and 5 on the 128 step speed control. Number four is a whistle, high tone. Number five is normal load and heavy load. Presumably you need to be moving for this.
definitely a tonal dif difference there, sounding like it's working harder. Now, let's see if we can pick up on the firebox door being open. I can definitely see there's a firebox flicker going on there. I'll move the camera around and take a shot from a different angle. Seven is injectors. Eight is the low tone whistle. Nine is flange squeal. Ten is coal shoveling. Eleven is the blower. Twelve is the handbrake. Thirteen, water tank filling. Fourteen, coupling. Fifteen, safety valve. Sixteen, guard's whistle. Seven requires us moving, which is coasting. Let's get the engine going again. Oh, need to take the handbrake off. There you go, <laughs> it won't move with the handbrake on. That's coasting. Nineteen is shunt mode. Which reduces the speed right down. And twenty is inertia off. So in conclusion, I have to say I'm very, very happy with this locomotive. Um, it is an expensive locomotive, but considering that you get all these functions, you get firebox flicker, superb level of detail, a very heavy model, and beautiful, beautiful decals, etchings, brake gear, I think it's a phenomenal model for its price. Something you treat yourself to every now and then. Thanks for watching the review. Please leave comments, like, share and subscribe. 
See you next time. Bye.